गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे विल स्टार्ट द चैप्टर इलेक्ट्रोकेमिस्ट्री इन दिस चैप्टर देर आर वेरियस सब पोर्सन आर देयर दैट इज इलेक्ट्रोकेमिकल सेल देन नॉन स्टिक्यूएसन वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ कंडक्टेंस एक्सेट्रा विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द पोर्सन इलेक्ट्रोकेमिकल सेल As per your syllabus, we will start from this electrochemical cell. Now, let me start with the definition of electrochemical cell, which is also called galvanic cell or voltaic cell. As per the definition, any system or device which converts chemical energy to electrical energy by means of indirect oxidation reaction, where fall in chemical potential appears in the form of electrical energy. or it can also be defined as any system or device in which electricity is produced as a result of chemical reactions is called electrochemical cell or galvanic cell in a not cell let me explain the definition of electrochemical cell or galvanic cell that it is the system or device which converts chemical energy to electrical energy so after the definition let me come to how many types or how many various daniell cells or galvanic cells are there we can have zinc copper sulfate cell hydrogen copper sulfate cell copper silver nitrate cell etc now let me give you the explanation of galvanic cell which here is the daniell cell in detail so the construction part let me explain first this galvanic cell that is the daniell cell is now consisting of two half cells that is the left half cell as well as the right half cell the left half cell is consisting of zinc rod which is dissolved or which is dipped in zinc sulfate solution and the right half cell is consisting of copper rod dipped in copper sulfate solution now here zinc sulfate is one molar in right half cell also copper sulfate is one molar solution now this zinc rod that is also acting as anode is the negative electrode the copper rod which is acting as the cathode is the positive electrode now these two half cells are internally connected by a u shaped inverted u shaped tube that is known as salt bridge the main function of the salt bridge here is to maintain the electrical neutrality between these two half cells also it maintains the or completes the cell circuit next here it is a node that is zinc rod is a negative electrode and copper is the positive electrode those two electrodes are connected to the two terminals of a galvanometer the main function of the galvanometer here is to detect the flow of current this is so this is the form of construction of galvanic cell or the daniell cell now after this construction let me explain you the working of this galvanic cell as soon as the reaction or as soon as the entire set of or the connection is complete the zinc rod or the anode start dissolving that means zinc is converted to zinc 2 plus after liberating two electrons or by liberating two electrons so let me write that or let me explain that the writing formal so in this zinc solid which was in the form of zinc solid now is converted to zinc aqueous and liberate two electrons so we can say that here oxidation reaction is going on because we know that oxidation is the loss of electrode so here we are losing two electrons zinc is converted to zinc aqueous zinc solid is converted to zinc aqueous by losing two electrons next these two electrons after releasing from negative electrode or oxidation half cell now these two electrons are taken off by the copper two electrodes copper two ions from right half cell and reduction reaction is going on that means copper 2 plus ions from right half cell so let me cite copper 2 plus ions which were in the aqueous form now receive these two electrons and convert to 
copper solid that means it is now reduction reaction is going on in the right half cell i'm explaining zinc rod or zinc solid is now converted to zinc aqueous by releasing electron those two electrons are taken by copper and converted to copper solid so in total here two electrons here two electrons they will be cancelled and this zinc solid plus copper 2 plus aqueous form is now converted to zinc 2 plus aqueous plus copper solid that means the entire redox reaction is here this is oxidation reaction this is reduction reaction so the entire redox reaction is here zinc is converted to zinc 2 plus copper 2 plus is converted to copper by exchange of two electrons that means from left half cell to right half cell two electrons lost and right half cell gain those two electrons as we know that flow of electrons is just the opposite of flow of current that means electrons started from anode to cathode that is from negative to positive electrode so ultimately current flows from cathode to anode which is just the reverse of the flow of electrons so this is what chemical energy is converted to electrical energy so this is what the working of daniel cell or the explanation regarding the working of daniel cell over so first it was definition next what was the construction third part it was the explanation of the entire working of the daniel cell the next portion is how to represent a daniel cell or a galvanic cell suppose this cell how to represent that now this cell can be represented as let me representation of galvanic cell the very next portion representation of galvanic cell so here it is oxidation reaction or oxidation half cell is represented in the left half cell reduction reaction or reduction half cell reaction is represented in the right half cell both are separated by a salt bridge we know that in the construction area we have seen that now the salt bridge is represented by two bar lines which is separating the oxidation and reduction reaction I am repeating oxidation half reaction is written in the left half cell, reduction half reaction is written in the right half cell. Both these half cells are represented or are separated by two bar lines. Now this is what the salt bridge. In other format we can write zinc solid converted to zinc aqueous bar lines. Copper 2 plus aqueous converted to copper solid. So this entirely representing the representation of galvanic cell. Any type of cell can be represented by this formula. Oxidation in the left half cell, reduction in the right half cell. In between salt bridge is placed which is a two or two lines, two parallel lines. Let me explain you what is the function of salt bridge. Now the salt bridge is as we know that salt bridge is maintaining the electrical neutrality of the two solutions. Also it completes the cell circuit. Inside the salt bridge generally there is the presence of inert electrolytes like KCl, KNO3, K2SO4 which are that is potassium chloride, potassium nitrate or potassium sulphate which are prepared in jelly form. And especially here agar agar jelly is used. Now how it is maintaining the electrical neutrality let me explain you people. So here zinc rod starts dissolving means in this entire solution zinc plus 2 ions will be more because zinc solid is converted to zinc 2 plus and those plus 2 ions zinc plus 2 ions are in this solution that means to neutralize the positive ion the negative ions from the salt bridge diffuse to this electrolyte or to this half cell. Next, this copper 2 plus ions. We know that these two electrons after zinc is converted to zinc 2 plus. Two electrons are coming or two through this connecting wire 
two electrons are received by copper two plus ions that means in the right half cell copper two plus ions are less because those are consumed to form copper solid so to maintain the electrical neutrality or to maintain the positive part okay, positive ions are going that means here positive ions are diffusing to this right half cell so in this way the salt breeze is maintaining the electrical neutrality the ions of the salt breeze that means k plus and cl minus ion never react to zinc 2 plus ions or copper 2 plus ions of the left half cell or the right half cell so this is what the function of salt breeze so after all this this definition then what can be the what can be the example of this galvanic or daniel cell now this is the working of a daniel cell then the construction and working of daniel cell finally the presentation of galvanic cell or daniel cell so after this let me explain you how you are going to face questions from this area specifically from this area that means you need to face the questions like so after the explanation of galvanic cell its working area let me explain you how you are going to face the questions from this section the questions can be as one question i am explaining write the half cell reaction and net cell reactions of the following galvanic cell the following galvanic cell that is zinc solid zinc aqueous double bar silver aqueous single bar silver solid so this is what the question is so representation of the cell is given you have to write the half cell reaction as well as the net cell reaction i am starting the answer here we know that this is oxidation half reaction or oxidation half cell this is reduction half cell so we will represent that in the form of reactions so first oxidation half reaction in this zinc solid is converted to zinc 2 plus aqueous plus 2 electron minus that we know now reduction half reaction in reduction half reaction how it is going silver plus that is aqueous form is converted to silver solid but here these are two electron this is one electron as per the valency now we will be cancelling this two electrons so what we need to do we will be multiplying the entire redox half reaction into two or by two that means these two electrons cancel automatically this cancel so zinc solid plus 2 az plus aqueous is now converted to zinc aqueous plus 2 silver solid so this is what our first answer is right oxidation half reaction over reduction half reaction over and this is the net cell reaction the net cell reaction is this one so this is what our answer is the second format of the question can be net cell reaction will be given you have to write or you have to represent the cell i hope you have gone through it properly so do as many as sums from your book thank you